everybody, AJ Rizek here, and uh, today I'm going to take a look at the desktop email client called Geary. Um, comes default with uh, elementary OS, although uh, you know it's available for lots of other Linux distributions. Um, very simple, very fast, easy to use. Um, not a whole lot of bells and whistles. But if you're just looking for something that's really simple, uh, this name may be the ticket for you. Uh, it is IMAP only. Uh, so if you're looking for uh, uh, pop email support, it's not there. Um, if you're not familiar with the difference between IMAP and pop, um, IMAP basically, your all of your email is stored on this server so like if you're getting uh, let's say we're talking about Gmail um, all of your email stays on the Gmail server and the uh, your your desktop client is basically just a way to interact with that email um, you don't physically download anything to your desktop pop email and uh, the latest version of pop was uh, pop 3 um, you connect with your uh, your email server gmail yahoo company email whatever um, and then you download a copy of the email to your desktop and then it is wiped off of the server although there are some uh, some options to store a copy on the server, but basically, it uh, it it gets transferred to your uh, desktop. IMAP is the more uh, modern uh, method, and actually, it works a lot better for most people because you know back in the day when Pop was invented, um, people generally access their email from one place, their desktop computer. Now people might be accessing their email from work, from at home, from uh, multiple computers, desktop, laptop, um, from their iPhone, Android phone, you know, whatever. So if you're, if you're accessing from multiple locations, IMAP is the better route to go. Um, most of your common email server services uh, will support both. Um, but like I said, getting back to Geary, Geary only works with IMAP. Um, okay, let me fire it up. Um, this is a new installation, so I'm gonna kinda walk you through how easy it is to set this thing up. Um, I am using uh, elementary OS Luna uh, for the desktop here. Like I said, it's available for multiple uh, uh, Linux distributions, so um, you know you don't have to be running elementary to, to run Geary. Let me fire this thing up. Okay, so let's just uh, we'll, we'll put in my Gmail account so you can see how easy this is to work with. Now, if you've got, let me show you here, Gmail, Yahoo, and Outlook. All you need to do is put in your email address and password it'll do everything else for you. If you've got a different service or maybe you're connecting to say a work email or you've got um, email because of uh, having a, a WordPress website or something of that sort, you're going to need to know all of your server settings so that uh, and your server address, that sort of thing so that you connect. But Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, as long as you know your email address and password, you're good to go. So anyway, let's email address and password, add it in there. Boom, ready to go. Uh, yeah, and 
Now, if you got, let's say you've got uh, multiple emails, and a lot of us do, you got a work email, you got a home email, uh, all kinds of different stuff. Um, just come over here to the settings and uh, click on accounts, and you can go and add other email accounts. Um, same kind of deal. Just put in another one of my emails. And yes, these are my real emails, but I really don't care who emails me. Yeah, hey stupid, why don't you put in for the Yahoo Mail? Make sure it's the right service. Now let's try it. Hey, there it goes. Imagine how that works. Okay, so anyway, let me talk a little bit about um, the interface here. Um, you see, uh, you got the typical three column layout like you see with a lot of email clients. You can play around with the column widths and that sort of thing. Um, but uh, really not a whole lot of things that you can you can tweak um, on the interface. Uh, what you see is what you get. Anyway, up at the top of uh, on your left hand column you've got inboxes so you can quickly go to your inboxes and then below that you can do a breakdown of you know all the different folders that are on you know say your Gmail or your Yahoo Mail all that kind of stuff um, like I said that's uh, you know there's not a whole lot of other stuff to look at you got your really you got your basic functions across here on this taskbar reply reply to all forward that sort of thing um, over here in the settings, you, well, I already showed you the accounts. Um, click on the preferences, automatically send out the next email, display conversation view, that sort of thing. Um, like the, not a whole lot of, of settings in there. So if you're got some somebody that likes to tweak the heck out of something, Geary's not for you. Um, but if you just want a simple, let's read email and send email and that's it this is a good good uh, client for you um, as far as uh, as reading emails um, one of the things that you that uh, is really nice about Geary uh, is it uses what they call a conversation view and 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 what that is is um, yeah, you know, uh, a lot of these emails that I'm looking at right here are all uh, ads, so it really can't uh, give you an example. But let's uh, let's say, for example, you're you're emailing back and forth with somebody, and there's in a string of emails, there's maybe a dozen different emails. Well, in a conversation view, when you click on an on an email. It will after the you get through the body of the email. It'll show you all the previous back and forths, so it, it makes it easier. Like if you need to go and see what was the original email sent, you don't have to go and dig through your email folders, try to find that original email. It's right there for you. Or you know maybe you need to find you know the one that was sent on the fourth or the fifth of the month, that sort of thing. Uh, conversation view lets you dig through those emails uh, really easy. Um, it's a it's a nice feature. Um, you know, not a whole lot of other stuff to say about uh, Geary. Like I said, it's really simple. Um, you can see how quick it is to use. Uh, setup is really easy. Let me shut her down and I'll fire it back up. You can see, uh, you know, bam, it's up and running quick. Um, Stuff it's missing. There is not a uh, uh, a calendar integration. So if you uh, like, say you receive an invitation by uh, 
via email and you want to automatically put it on your calendar uh, sorry there's no calendar integration hopefully that's something that's going to be coming down the pike soon um, especially since elementary who does a lot of work with the with the, the Yorba people who are that's who um, who developed Geary um, since they're planning on working on uh, uh, better integration with their calendar application hopefully that means that they're going to be working on uh, uh, a calendar integration with uh, the email as well um, we're just going to have to wait and see on that one so if you need that kind of calendar integration um, you know, Geary doesn't have it um, like I said if you just want to use use it for use uh, a desktop plan for reading and and writing and forwarding email Geary's for you if you like to tweak or you need those extra features Geary's not for you um, but nice lightweight fast easy to use um, what more need to be said uh, as usual uh, Leave uh, comments if you got anything to say about the uh, video, and uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Um, I'll throw a uh, in the in the uh, uh, video description. I'll throw a link to uh, to the uh, Geary website, and uh, uh, from there you can uh, you know you, you can find your way to whatever. Uh, 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 link to uh, to the uh, whatever Geary or not Geary distribution but at whatever Linux distribution you got you, there should be links there that will show you where to do your downloading okay anyway thanks a lot and uh, give uh, give Geary a try and see y'all in the next video